This is a continuation on how to grade, um, and I'm going to set up a forum and grade that online. So some of the questions I've had is, I used to do that live in class. How am I going to do that now on an online setting? So I have live debates. I assign the students topics related to economics, and then they debate in class. So they write a paper in advance. The majority of the grade is about the paper, and then they get partial participation grades for participating in live class. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the uh, debate rubric and the online worksheet. So here was the worksheet that I used to have. So I used to say, this worksheet is for a debate topic. You get to choose your opinion side. So I assign two different sides and you get to choose. In the online format, I found that it's easier for students or I get better um, responses if I assign a side in the fact that sometimes the debates can be lopsided. So I'm going to say, I'm going to change this um, and say that your opinion statement should uh, your opinion statement should support your assigned debate side. All right. So basically, this is a worksheet that I gave them to help outline what they're supposed to do. So they write an opinion statement supported with three resources outside of what. Um, I assign for reading or videos. Then they have three resources. Then they say, what would the opposing side of this debate say? And how would I respond? And they do that twice, two of those, two opposing side arguments and your response. So I'm gonna save this worksheet as a debate worksheet online. Replace the existing file, all right. And it says that there's a, and I'm sorry, it says live debate. I, um, complete the worksheet prior to the de online debate. So this is an online debate. I'm going to save this. So this is the syllabus that matches the class. So now what I'm going to do is add a forum that can be graded. So you can't just use forum here that's blue and green for us. It's open forum. So this open forum, which is white, the open forum is, I'm going to call this uh, online debate. And I always put the due date at due 4 3 2020. I already typed up um, content for this debate, right? So now I'm just going to post that. So this online debate topic in this class for this is going to be increasing minimum wage. The goal is to argue, make an economic argument for or against increasing minimum wage. So they're going to be assigned, assigned to the pro or con side. Then they have to give arguments for the opposing side. They also have to, so pros of increasing minimum wage to at least $15 an hour, it's good for the economy, or no, increasing minimum wage is not good for the economy. Then I assign them the videos and articles to read, and I'm going to display this on the page. It's going to be a standard forum. Post options, I am going to allow them to, um, I'm not gonna display word count. I'm gonna allow them to have attachments. And then grading. So I am going to grade this. I'm gonna manually grade this. The max score on this, um, it'll make it out of 100. I am going to use a rubric. So this is the rubric that I currently have. So I changed it to say online. And so participation will now be responding to two peers thoroughly in the Moodle discussion forum instead of live participation. Everything else I kept the same. And so I'm going to say rubric. And earlier I set up a grade book. So this is part of the online debates category. So again, I set up the forum. I give my topic, I display it on the course, and I, I click grade manual. I am going to use a rubric and I'm going to use online debates. Now there's a couple options. So now this more forum has displayed, it's white. If you see the blue and green, you, you can't use a rubric on it. You can grade, you can't use a rubric. So, I'm going to you. I'm going to upload. There's a couple ways to do this. If if you don't really use Moodle grading that often, 
you can just post this, right? So I'm gonna drag and drop my grading rubric for online debate, right? So I have this in a second screen over here. So I'm gonna drag and drop. I can, that's the rubric. I also have the worksheet that I'm gonna give them, right? Um, if I want to, I can just manually return this, this, I could highlight and manually return the grade, okay? What I'm going to do is attach the rubric to this in Moodle. So now you see the online debate, you click on the forum and you're gonna right click on the gear icon, you're gonna click on the gear icon and you're gonna hit, it says advanced rubric grading, define the rubric. This is because I chose rubric. So I'm gonna hit define the rubric. So I'm gonna bring up my rubric. And so I'm gonna call this debate grading rubric, okay? Then I'm gonna give the details. This is the debate, this rubric is grading. So this is, I'm just copying and pasting. What is this grading? So this rubric is evaluating your debate worksheet and participation in the online debate. Okay, so this is the name of my category, organization and clarity. So criteria, organization and clarity, I'm just gonna post that, okay? Then whatever I have in here, so zero, I'm just gonna say, not completed. I'm going to leave zero even though it's not in my rubric. Otherwise, you can't give zeros. And then it goes in the opposite direction of mine. So number one, I'm just copying and pasting. So copy um, the words I have about what a number two for organization and clarity is. If you have four levels, just add another level. You can change the point values right here. So you could change that to five or ten or whatever you wanted to change that to. Three, most of the resources in my opinion are clear. And then four, here. Now I have more categories, so criterion. Use of the argument. I'm gonna post that. Then I'm going to start with under zero, not completed. Zero points, and then I'm gonna move on to number one. Number one, uh, just remember to go backwards if you're... I'm just gonna copy and paste each level. It does, it is a little time consuming to set up, but you, let's just say I have multiple forums, I can copy this and it will copy the rubric. So I'll show you that afterwards. And number four. Now I'm gonna use of examination. So copy that. And then I have, I have to remember to do not completed. Zero points. Then I'm gonna to go to number one. Number two. Number three. And number four. I could add more levels if I wanted to. I don't need more than four, so I'm gonna keep going down. So sources. I gotta remember to start with zero, not completed. And then move on to number one. I'm just copying a rubric I already had created, right? Copy, paste, copy, paste. That's my syllabus. So copy, paste. 
Christ. And my final participation. Not completed. Wrong document. And there we go. All right, when I'm done, I didn't change anything, point values, everything. I'm just gonna have save rubric and make it ready. Now you can see what it looks like. This is what the students will see when they go to submit. So they'll see all of this. Now I'm going to go back to my forum. I don't see that, but you can hit grading criteria and there the students will see all of this, how they're gonna be graded, right? The students will just see the rubric and then they can add a new discussion here. And then if I wanted to grade this, I could go to my test course. I'm gonna go back to my front page and I just use open grader. And I'm going to go to online debate. There's no one here, so I don't have any students. So if I did have students, um, the it would say grade with rubric. So I'll have to add a student in my next display and show you how to grade with the actual rubric. Um, but this is how you set up the rubric.